So we've all heard the pro mask mantra. Just wear a mask, save lives. It's, it's so simple. You must be selfish if you don't wear a face mask. You see in this headline over here from the World Health Organization in Google, it's a public service announcement. Wear a mask, save lives. Likewise with the CDC, wearing a mask is not hard. So do your part and wear a mask. We see celebrities getting involved with this. You know, we have Reese Witherspoon. And she says it means you care about other people's health and safety if you wear a face mask, which suggests if you don't wear one, then you don't care about people's health and safety. Jennifer Aniston as well. She says that if you care about human life, please just wear a damn mask. Then we have Tom Hanks. He goes so far as to say shame on you to those who don't wear a mask and social distance. You need to do your part. Also in the government, we have this governor, Larry Hogan. It's not that hard. Just wear the damn mask. Musician Rob Thomas, he goes even further. He says, if you don't wear a face mask, it means that you are selfish and even a little sadistic. And it just gets worse. I mean, we see even media outlets, right? And people commonly using this kind of language, mask hole, and COVID idiots being used to essentially degrade people that aren't wearing face masks. Now, for those who are a bit more perceptive, you may recognize that these tactics are not rooted in objective, verifiable science. Instead, they are rooted in a manipulative mass psychology. Now, what I'm going to do is use objective, peer-reviewed scientific evidence spanning decades to prove to you that everybody wearing face masks is not keeping everybody safe, and in fact, it is demonstrably dangerous and even deadly. And the reason for this is very simple, guys. Millions and millions of people suffer from something known as mask anxiety. This is most notably people who are claustrophobic, which represents a very large demographic of the population, people who are autistic, and then also the deaf community. Now, the reason why this is significant, guys, is because we have decades of peer-reviewed, irrefutable science showing that stress and anxiety are extremely dangerous and even deadly. We know, for example, that stress is very dangerous for mental health and physical health. Stress levels are linked to the risk of liver disease death, same thing with diabetes, same thing with cancer, and then also heart disease and stroke. In fact, in this study of here, they showed that between 20 and 40% of sudden cardiac deaths are precipitated by acute emotional stresses. Yeah, this Yale University study showed that mental stress can lead to sudden death. In this massive study of Yale on 68,000 adults, they showed that even small amounts of stress and anxiety, guys, that could lead to a premature death. That's the objective, peer-reviewed, verifiable scientific evidence which extends beyond media propaganda and public speculation, guys. It clearly shows that by forcing people to wear face masks against their will, that is putting their mental and physical health in danger. Well, that settles that. Now, some people will say, Gavin, even though you are correct and that is right, COVID-19 is still a more dangerous and deadly threat to society. But once again, this is rooted in mass psychology and popular opinion, not objective, verifiable evidence. For example, you have Worldometer, which is trusted by governments and media outlets worldwide for their statistical analysis. Of the more than 21 million coronavirus infected patients worldwide, 99.6% guys are in, and I quote, mild condition, okay, mild condition. Then in addition to that, we know from multiple real world studies conducted on real people by real scientists that there's a consistent theme that many of these individuals, you see over here as many as 80%, have the virus and they don't even know it because they don't even have symptoms guys the cdc even estimates around 40 percent of people with covid 19 they have no symptoms because it is so insipid so why should millions of people who would otherwise not be at risk put their mental and physical health in danger just because you think they should if you want to wear a face mask then i'm all for that because that's your freedom of choice and i have no right to impose my worldview on you but please don't impose your worldview on me or anybody else for that matter especially not when it's being done through psychological manipulation public shaming and bullying because no matter what the media tells you or the authorities the moment that you do that you become the bad guy i've said it before and i will say it over and over again guys we can protect the vulnerable without endangering the healthy
trying to free your mind, Neo. 